Uh, welcome to the first edition of the Victorian Transport Plan e-news, uh, the government's quarterly update on our $38 billion action plan to deliver the best transport system in Australia. In the three months since we launched the plan, there's been an enormous amount of action on transport projects right across the state. We've seen it in public transport, in roads, in rail freight and in cycling. So what I want to do today is just give a snapshot of the action that's happened since we launched the plan late last year. We now have 38 new trains on order for the Metropolitan Train System so that our network can cater for the enormous surge in patronage growth that we've witnessed in the past few years. We've opened the new Clifton Hill Rail duplication, including new tracks and a new rail bridge over the Mary Creek. We've awarded contracts to build new rail tracks at Laverton to boost capacity on the Werribee line. We've awarded contracts for the construction of a new $52 million footbridge at Footscray Rail Station. We've installed bike cages at train stations across the state. On our road network, stages one and two of Geelong's new ring road have opened to traffic and early works have started on the multi-billion dollar Western and Metropolitan Ring Road upgrade. The first fully completed section of the $1.39 billion upgrade of the Monash City Link Westgate M1 corridor has opened to traffic and there's a huge amount of work that's happening on that corridor. We've also announced the early opening of the $300 million Deer Park bypass, opening in April and that's eight months ahead of schedule. The completion of the next stage of the Calder Highway duplication is imminent, an incredibly important project for regional Victoria. So there's been a lot of action, but there is of course still a lot to do. We are continuing to talk to the federal government about funding for key nation building projects, such as the regional rail link, Melbourne Metro Rail Tunnel and Peninsula Link. And all of these, if you think about them, are projects that will not only transform our state, but will generate tens of thousands of construction jobs. Action on transport also means that people can spend less time travelling and more time with family and friends. So I hope you find this newsletter informative, and if you do, then feel free uh, to pass it along to friends, workmates, so that they can also keep up to date with transport improvements that are occurring right across our state.